Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David in Arc. Today we're going to be playing around with a bunch of Utes. That's right, Utes in Utah. Starting off with the Gavril Barstow. And I will tell you, when I downloaded this mod, it did not show up. It didn't work. But you can unzip the file and move the Barstow folder into a vehicles folder in the game and get it to at least show up. Unfortunately, if we look inside here, we see no textures, although that is actually a cool effect just because of the white. That's that's actually kind of neat. <laughs> anyway, up next, we've got the Moonhawk, and it worked pretty well straight out of the box, other than I needed to immediately jump into the back end uh, for the body and change it to the Ute style. Uh, but uh, you see here, it is also missing textures. This one, not as cool as the Barstow, but, you know, hey, what are you going to do? Moving on, we have what I think is probably one of the coolest Ute mods ever. This is the Blue Buck Ute, and this one is like the rally off-road, I don't know, something. But this is just such a bad-looking car. I mean, holy cow, and I mean bad in like the 80s good way bad, okay? because I'm old. Anyway, very cool, very cool car. Up next, however, well, this is the Sunburst Ute, which I think could have been a very cool and probably was a very cool mod back in the day when it was made. Unfortunately, uh, you may notice I have everything paused right now, and that's because, well, um, this particular vehicle goes insane when the game is not paused. We'll, we'll take a look at that in a minute, but just trust me on this one. We have the 90s Pessima, which absolutely doesn't have anything spawned in again. Back in the day, probably awesome. As it turns out now, you can't even get to the parts that have, you know, oh, I don't know, a dashboard, wheels, undercarriage. No, no, none of that's in the selector, so... We're just going to sit and look at that one. On the other hand, we've got this 80s Ute, uh, uh, excuse me, 80s Pessima Ute model. And I think this is very, very cool. There was a car back in the 80s. I, I want to say it was a Fiat. I don't know if it was. I'll have to look and see if I can find uh, a version of it. But this reminds me of that a whole lot. And I really like this. I especially like the uh, blue roll cage on the inside, but I just, I love the aesthetic of this 80s ute. And speaking of loving utes, this ETK 800 series as a ute is a work of art. This is so, so cool. And it turns out it's a right-handed driver. So those of you that prefer the right-handed driving vehicles, there you go. Awesome stuff. So now that we've taken a look at each of the vehicles here, all these utes in a row, I say we uh, <laughs> just unpause the game and, well, you see what happens. And the sunburst, okay, well, I knew the sunburst messed up when you hit the, uh, when you when you unpause the physics, but <laughs> I've not, I had not seen it catch on fire and drive backwards accelerating until it makes a giant circle and okay slams into the information center gorgeous that was, that was that was great dude way to go all right let's start with the barstow see if uh, we can get this thing to even move i have no idea which of these vehicles work which ones don't work hey oh whoa 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 okay the back end of this bad boy is very slippy. It wants to get away from you in a hurry. I can only assume that a lot of these are going to be this way, especially the rear wheel drive, because there's just no weight back there. I mean, it, it's a truck bed. What, what, do you, what do you want it to do? But oh, I am such a fan of the Ute style. So, so cool. Oops. Okay, well, a little curb check there, but... or. Um, a guardrail check anyway, but anyhow, as we cruise down through here and check out, oh, okay, we're sliding sideways. No, 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 no. Oh, slamming into the bridge and sliding over the hill. All right, here we go. Oh no, the rear wheels catch on and keep the vehicle from tumbling over. All right, now we will head into the Moonhawk. And I got to say, 
Is it just me, or does this is just this one just to me feels so wrong? I mean, look how giant the back end is. I mean, yeah, it's, it is very El Camino, I'll give you that, but holy cow, that's huge. I, listen, if you're the person who made this mod, or you like to, you know, enhance mods that already exist, put a swimming pool back there, man. Oh, okay, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy dreaming of a swimming pool in the back of my ute. Well, that ought to block a lane of traffic. Way to go. Good job, Dave. Good job. Now this one, again, as I said before, I just, I love the aesthetic of this one. This is classic, old school, I don't know, off-road kind of muscle car. Uh, uh, this is very, whoa, 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 okay, once again, back in getting away from us, and we'll uh, run into the sign, it's not where I was going. Okay, we have a crash bar on the front, and yet you still bent up my hood crashing into the sign. I don't know, something just doesn't feel right about that. Anyhow, here we go, cruising down the road here. Oh, 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 once again, checking into the guardrail. Oh, I hit the front end into the guardrail. That completely destroyed it. Oh, now we're going to go for a little tumble and end up on the roof. I don't care. I, that's still my, that, I love that. I just absolutely love it. There's the sunburst. All right, let's see if we can reset it. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh. It just breaks physics. There, there's nothing I can do about this one, man. It's just toast. Ah, oh, well. I tried. I, I absolutely tried. I tried swapping pieces, parts. It, it just, it's breaking the game left and right. All right, so moving ahead. Of course, we got the 90s Pessimo, which isn't going anywhere. So, yeah, that's beautiful. Gorgeous piece of artwork there, huh? All right, so here we go. Let's see what happens when we grab the 80s Pessima and get this bad boy going. All right. Um, come on. What's, what's happening here? All right. Let's 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 see. Maybe it's okay. I had to change the gearbox into the manual transmission. So just remember that. Uh, I will have links to the mods down in the description below. You can check them out for yourself. But just remember that some of these you're going to have to switch it into uh, the manual transmission before they will work. But look at that. Oh, I absolutely love this. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to, I'll see if I can, if I can find a picture. Oh, crud. If I can find a, an image of the 80s you that it reminds me of, I'll stick it in here. I, I probably won't remember. Oh, that is so, well, I was going to say gorgeous. Oh, nice barrel roll though. I wasn't going to say it was gorgeous, but I get so caught up in checking the views that I forget to drive. So, <clears throat> Yeah. Anyway, moving along, let's check out the final Ute of the day, the 800 series Ute. Check this out. Now, the instructions say if I hit O, oh, if you hit O, oh, the tub lid lifts. And if you hit it again, it will retract. Oh my gosh. That, that is awesome. Okay. What is going on? Let's, what are we doing? Okay. It doesn't work in realistic. It, doesn't work in arcade what is happening here okay i don't know that was weird it didn't work when it was in realistic mode i had to switch it out of realistic mode back to arcade back into realistic because i don't know <laughs> it's the strange things are afoot at the circle k i guess maybe that's what happens when you spawn in a bunch of utes all these utes i can tell you one thing Having all of these Utes in here is begging for some My Cousin Vinny references. That is absolutely a fact. Let's cruise down here. See what happens if we go down. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to take a right and let's head into the mine shaft with an ETK 800 U. I'll tell you one of the things that I really like about this is because it's a modern vehicle, it reminds me a whole lot of the, um, oh, the Hyundai has one now. What's it called? The Santa Cruz, Veracruz? I can't remember. Something. Anyway, I, I think it's very cool. I like it a lot. I mean, am I going to change in my charger for it? No, but, you know, if the opportunity came for me to get one, I would probably get one just because I think it's cool. What I think is really weird, though, is like the rear view mirror, to the left and the side view mirror on the right are showing perfectly bright 
reflections of what we narrowly see ahead. The whole thing just looks like a weird alien monster. Like, like we're inside Sid's head from the Ice Age movies. Anyway, so if we cruise up here, I think this is where that other, yeah, this is where, yeah, it is. This is where the, uh, that other vehicle went. <laughs> What's that? The Barstow? It's where the Barstow is, but we managed to high center ourselves because Dave's driving, and if I'm going to high center myself or crash a vehicle in the first 10 seconds of a video, you know I'm all about it. So anyhow, there you go. Utes in Utah. Taking a look here at some that worked, some that failed, and some that just failed miserably. But in any case, thank you so much to everyone who supports the channel. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for watching. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. I'm David and Ark. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.